This is Mark Olson for the Los Angeles Times. As the 2009 edition of the Sundance Film Festival comes to a close, uh, it seems that a lot of the questions people had coming into this year's festival are still lingering, although I, I must say that I think the new indie economy is beginning to take shape. That uh, there were fewer people here this year, which has been much remarked upon, although frankly the screenings were all still packed, so I think that the people who weren't here were sort of the gawkers and the hangers-on that have raised a lot of the complaints about the festival over the last few years. And so I've heard from more than one person that they find the recession era Sundance to be a much more pleasant and manageable experience. Which isn't to say that buzz, that sort of indescribable something that gets people talking about a movie, is not still the coin of the realm here. But of course the flip side of that is that there's just there's so many new movies day after day after day that frankly it's hard to hold buzz, that you're always kind of getting snowed over by the newest, latest, and greatest. Although the films that people have continued to talk about all through the week are films such as Hump Day, Uneducation, Sin Hombre, and Push. And on the documentary side, I think people have really been excited about Big River Man and uh, We Live in Public. And uh, there have been a surprising number of sales at Sundance this year, although, well, there have been a number of sales. Those sales are happening at far fewer dollar amounts, like a lower dollar amount than sort of that legendary Sundance jackpot of previous years. And also a lot of the deals are including video on demand components or different ways that distributors are trying to be sure to find the specialized audience. So as this, the 25th edition of the Sundance Film Festival comes to a close, it was a memorable festival, all right, but one marked largely by anxiety, fear, and uncertainty. One rather notable fist fight between a film critic and a, and a film's representative. And oh yeah, there were a lot of good new films for people to see, that some of which will in fact be making its way to the world over the next year or so. This has been Mark Olson for the Los Angeles Times.